Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I'm asking a question and I'm gonna do an experiment to find out. The question is, are the Lego Mindstorms EV3 basically, you know, the standard wheels? Can I run the same program with those wheels, put the Spike Prime wheels on the Lego EV3 Educator Bot wheels, and will it run the same program? Or do you think I'd have to change my program to get the same program to run? Let's find out by staying with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay, everybody, so here's the plan. My robot is ready to do the traffic jam mission for those of you that know your city shaper. I'm gonna leave these regular EV3 wheels on and I'm gonna basically run the program to get that mission done. I'm then going to swap the wheels and, and put these wheels on this educator bot and see if I can still run the program or will I have to change it because the wheels are different. So let's go to the city shaper table and find out, let's go. Okay, first bot up on the table is this educator bot ready for the traffic jam. So let's check it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the program. Okay, so with the regular EV3 wheels, I had it going forward for 927 degrees. Then that B motor turned for 133 degrees. Then I had it going forward to push the traffic jam up for 520 degrees. Then it did that B motor back up for 100 degrees. And then it backed up into home for 1900 degrees. And then I just flipped up that shovel just in case it might have been hanging over into the launching area. So let's now go ahead and compare this program to what I would need for the Spike Prime wheels. Okay, so the Spike Prime wheels are on. They look pretty sharp. And I'm basically just trying to see if I can run the same exact program. Don't touch any of the degrees and see if this can run the same program, just to see if the wheels are, you know, basically rotating the same amount as each other, as the old wheels. So let's give this one a shot. If you'll check out or back up the video to the one I just did, the wheel was right about where the I and the R is here in first. So I tried to line it up the same way and let's go ahead and give this a shot. Okay, that might be leaning over a little bit more than it was before, but it's the exact same program. If you'll notice, I'll just pan around here. I didn't even change the program. It was the same as it was with the regular EV3 wheels. So all I did was I just basically took off the EV3 wheels and put the spike prime on. So no, there wasn't any difference in you know, the way the robot ran the program, still got the traffic jam up and, you know, I didn't have to do anything different to the program. Definitely would want to make it go back a little farther coming into home here. So the question is spike prime wheels, you know, rotating the same as these EV3 wheels. Yes. In fact, you know, let's go ahead and take these off if I can let you see the difference here in the wheel uh, size here. I mean, that looks pretty similar. So, you know, obviously if there was a size difference, you know, we would see it in the program, but you know, these wheels, I mean, we come over here, are pretty identical if you ask me here. Okay, so there goes the answer to the question. Are spike prime wheels the same, you know, going to run the same amount of degrees, rotations, whatever your time 
for a program and according to this bot here and doing the traffic jam the answer is a yes okay guys so there you have it the spike prime wheels the educator bot wheels here or the regular ev3 pretty similar you know as far as running the program about keeping the degrees the same and still getting the that traffic jam mission done so the question is were the spike prime wheels and the ev3 wheels the same according to mr hino the answer is a yes so you can do your own experimenting if you have these wheels. I just like, um, you know, if I can take some time to just tell you what I like about these wheels, they grip really well. I mean, you know, you can take your finger and run it along these EV3 wheels and it, it's pretty slippery. For those of you that are losing traction or, you know, your robot goes off to the side, I can see it happening with these EV3 wheels. But with the Spike Prime, man, these things dig in pretty well. And, and grip the mat very well. So that's kind of my takeaway from these EV3 wheels is I can see less slipping. Um, you know, you might have to be careful um, when you're taking off from the launching area, how fast you go. Because I did notice that, you know, if you put this at too high of a speed, it has a tendency to, you know, er, you know, jump out of the launching area. So that's when you might have to cut your motor speed down and maybe speed it up as you are maybe coming back. I don't know. It's going to take some experimenting from you. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I'm Mr. Hino from Mission Ozega Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out.